CR Droid has released its latest version which is CR Droid 9.1 yesterday and it has both Android and vendor security patch of January 5, 2023. I have already reviewed its previous version which is CR Droid 9.0 and in this video I am also going to compare the latest CR Droid 9.1 with its previous version. Also I'll show the new features and customizations of CR Droid 9.1. So without further ado, let's start. So as you can see this is CR Droid 9.1 which is based on latest Android version 13. Also you can see its Android security and vendor security update is of January 5, 2023 and as always Quicksilver kernel is used in this ROM and I have installed this ROM on my Redmi Note 8. This ROM has minimal apps pre-installed and as you can see the smoothness of this ROM is good and this is the app opening closing speed and this has game space app present which have some gaming related features and this game space looks something like this. Talking about its camera, it has aperture camera pre-installed which have scan feature as well and FPS option is also included in it. And this cam works pretty well. Also you can install and use Google camera in it. I am using Gcam 8.7 in this room which is working perfectly. Inside its wallpapers and styles, there is wallpaper colors and basic colors with other features like dark theme themed icon and app grid. Talking about its launcher, it has CR Droid home launcher available and you can use split screen as well as free form directly. And from its launcher setting, you will find the use taskbar feature which makes opening and switching apps very easy. Along with use taskbar feature, there is hidden and protected apps present from where we can hide and protect our applications. This is how quick setting panel looks like which have some extra tiles like screenshot, MI sound enhancer, scan QR code and one handed mode. You can directly take screenshots from this quick setting tiles. To use screenshot tiles we need to long press on this screenshot tile and we can also edit the screenshot taken. And inside play protect certification you will see devices certified and safety net is also passed. And in this room, you will be able to do auto call record, which will also not give recording announcement. Along with auto call recording, there is smart mute present, which will mute incoming call by just flipping the phone. This phone dialer also have disable proximity sensor option present. And now let's see what new features are available in this CR Droid room. There is private DNS option inside network and internet, which have custom DNS integrated, which is a good step. Also connectivity check option is present in it. Inside its notification there is conversation and bubbles option present. But sensitive notification option is removed from here which used to be on its previous version. Now talking about battery this room gives good battery backup and it has features like battery uses, battery saver, battery manager, battery optimization and temperature. Inside its display, you will find features like adaptive brightness with dark theme and from its security section, you can enable both face and fingerprint lock for lock screen and phone is encrypted as well. Inside privacy, you will get lots of privacy related features which includes privacy dashboard from where you can see past 24 hours record and other features like permission managers camera access, microphone access, etc. are also included. And autofill service from Google, Google location history and all these options are now shifted in privacy setting. In its previous version, they were missing from here. In this CR Droid, you will get Xiaomi part setting which have same old options like MI sound enhancer, clear speaker, display color calibration, LCD features and vibration control. And from gesture setting, you can enable some gestures features like quickly open camera, system navigation, one handed mode, press and hold power button to access power menu or digital assistant and prevent ringing. And from system navigation, you can choose two button, three button 
or just a navigation and only hold on assistant option is available invert layout is missing in it and from gesture navigation setting you can enable or disable navigation pill and also change its length according to your choice and from its updater you can update to its latest version through OTA updates this Seadroid comes with its own Seadroid setting where open goodness is written and from here you can do use customizations on different sectors like status bar, quick settings, lock screen, navigation, buttons, user interface, notifications, sound and miscellaneous. And from miscellaneous you can enable unlock higher FPS in games also unlimited photo storage with Netflix spoof option is present in this room. They have also included parallel space, smart charging and swipe to screenshot in miscellaneous settings. And I have already explained each and every setting inside the Seadroid setting one by one and if you want to see all the customizations and features of this Seadroid setting then check my description section. And one bug that I have also showed in my previous review of Seadroid Roam is still there and that is when you try to download anything from its default browser then the download and dismiss button is not showing properly. Although the button is there but it is not appearing even in dark mode. So this is all about the Seadroid 9.1 which is based on Android 13. This room has smooth UI experience with good performance and you can use this room on daily basis as well. So that's it for this video. What do you think?